welcome everyone. The March 24th, 2015 meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Dr. Carbone is excused. Mr. Delahanty? Aye. Mr. Flagler Mitchell? Here. Mr. Gavin? Here. Chairwoman Valerio? Here. Mr. Kevin? And I'd like to welcome Legislator Delahanty to our committee. Thank you. And also, um, Mr. Ernest Flagler, De Flagler, Flagler uh, Mitchell to our committee. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Is there anyone signed up? And also, I'd like to welcome our distinguished guests from Monroe Community College. And, uh, you know, do you have anything to say to us tonight? You're most welcome. Okay, bienvenidos. Bueno, okay. I happen to teach Dr. Cress's daughter in class. Anyway, moving on. Back to official business. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum? There is not. Okay. Is there anyone here present who is not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? There being none, the next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes. You have the January 27, 2015 minutes before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item on the agenda is new business. April 15-0118. Okay. The item is moved by Mr. Delahanty and seconded by President Adair. Is there any discussion? Mr. Gamble. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I was wondering through the chair if we can get an explanation on the need for six million more dollars from someone over there or the, through the chair the uh, six million dollars of additional proposed funding is uh, primarily for uh, a green roof component of the project that was not previously included in the scope of the project. Um, the county was fortunate enough to apply for and receive uh, the $1.6 million in round, in round numbers uh, from the uh, Environmental Facilities Corporation of New York State, the Green Innovation Grant Program. Uh, this is a uh, phase two of the program. Uh, the county, if you may recall, was also fortunate enough to receive a nearly $5 million award through the GIGP uh, award program in phase one a few years ago for the Civic Center Green Roof. So this is a, a, the same program and will be used for uh, similar purposes to enhance the, uh, the downtown campus project. Oh, thank you. Through the chair. So the $6 million isn't totally for the green roof. It's for other enhancements as they seem uh, necessary or are or were they underestimated or just noticed or if you give me some enlightenment on that you say these other things through the chair uh, through the chair certainly um, we still have a, a base project a 72 million dollar project as previously committed to the surrounding body however um, as with any project with escalation in costs and uh, the nature of uh, the uncertainty of the bidding environment and the value of work at the time is bid um, we could certainly always, uh, from an engineering perspective, uh, use more uh, funding. So there are some elements of the project that are uh, currently being um, bid out as alternates so that we ensure uh, come bid opening day we have the $72 million project mm. that was previously committed to. Uh, however, the additional monies uh, will allow us uh, if needed to award some of those bid alternates um, in addition to the green roof uh, that I previously mentioned, which is an entirely new uh, scope, uh, a piece of the scope. Thank you. Um, through the chair, is any local tax money going to be used in this? Uh, through the chair, no. There's no local match. Thank you very much. Any further questions? Uh, there being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. 
Referral 15-0119, authorized contract with... Any other board members? Okay, moved by uh, Mr. Delahanty and seconded by President Adair. Is there any discussion? Okay, um, please um, go ahead, uh, Mr. Flagler. Flagler. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, through the Chair, uh, the contract gives 10% of each ticket sold to the Parks Department. How much money was deposited and how much revenue did we receive from the Parks Department? Through the Chair. Through you, Madam Chair, the uh, total revenue for um, ticketed events in 2014 was uh, $14,668.74. And how is the, through the chair, how, how is the money deposited? Uh, through you, Madam Chair, the um, money is deposited um, in um, different uh, trust funds uh, as indicated on the referral and also um, uh, some of them are um, deposited into the uh, Parks Department budget. Now, now does the con through you, through the chair, um, the 10%, is it for, can you deposit it in trust funds or is it through the contract supposed to go to the Parks Department? Through you, Madam Chair, um, on some of the events, um, they go into uh, a trust fund such as um, the uh, Big City Barbecue and Blues Festival goes into the Highland Park Trust Fund um, and the uh, Rock City Rib Fest uh, goes into the Horticultural Trust Fund um, for Genesee Valley Park um, and the concerts and the uh, food rodeo will go into the uh, Parks Department budget. Through you, through the chair. Um, the 10%, the now does the contract say that we can put that 10% in those other trust funds or does it supposed to be solely put into the parks department? Through you, Madam Chair, the referral that you passed tonight and ultimately the resolution in the legislature um, will determine that and as spelled out in our referral, uh, two of these uh, events go directly into the Parks Department budget and two of them go into the trust funds that I uh, uh, recognized. Those two events um, we put into the trust funds for those uh, parks uh, based on um, uh, sensitivity of the neighborhoods and, um, and uh, the parks themselves and that we wanted to uh, show that those uh, events were directly helping those parks in, in specific. Uh, through you, Madam Chair, how much go into the trust and how much go into the parks department? Okay. <coughs> um, on our estimate for uh, 2015 uh, would be uh, if we did have the summer concerts, which we have not uh, been able to book, our um, promoter has not been able to book summer concerts for the Highland Park Bowl. It is a difficult venue um, for the past uh, few years. But if we did have uh, concerts in 2015, our estimate would be, based on previous uh, uh, concerts, our estimate would be $8,450, and that would go to the Parks Department. Um, the Big City Barbecue and Blues Fest, uh, we estimate $5,133 uh, would go into the Highland Park Trust Fund. Um, the uh, Big City Barbecue, uh, I said Big City Barbecue. The um, Rock City Rib Fest um, would go, uh, $9,800 would go into the uh, Fort Trust Fund, which uh, would go to improve uh, Genesee Valley Park. And the food truck rodeo, we estimate uh, $5,973, and that would go into the uh, uh, Parks Department uh, budget. Okay. Through you, Madam Chair, you said the, the 
first, the the summer event is hard to book. Promoters have a hard time putting that together. Through you, Madam Chair, um, the uh, summer concert series um, is Highland Bowl is a difficult uh, venue to book. Uh, that's why we don't um, book it ourselves, and that's why we go about um, having a promoter uh, book shows in this way where there's no risk on the county, we spend no effort um, on booking shows, and um, the uh, onus is all on that uh, promoter, and we then capture 10% of the gate. Um, it's a difficult venue to uh, book because it, quite frankly, has no adjacent parking, um, and you have to bring in uh, all your staging and sound um, into that uh, venue. Uh, and set it up each time. Uh, there's no uh, uh, permanent uh, staging or sound uh, at that venue. It's a 1930s uh, era venue. Thank you. Mr. Campbell. Thank you, through the chair. Um, for the, the food truck rodeo, um, we talked about the community, um, the resident. Were, if you're talking about the rodeo, how do they envision the parking for that? Has that been mapped out yet or? For you, Madam Chair, that's a great question. Um, as part of the food truck rodeo, we uh, required the um, promoter to uh, um, rent the entire park so they would have both uh, sides of the road um, for parking. We have a very large uh, uh, parking lot onto the north side of uh, Blossom, uh, and then they would have the parking lots uh, within uh, the north side of the park as well. Uh, the rodeo would be set up on the south side of the uh, uh, Blossom where it would be very conducive to that type of event because it's a loop type road. Mm -hmm. um, and also uh, the promoter has made uh, arrangements uh, with Mercy High School to be able to have overflow mm -hmm. parking and would be able to bus uh, uh, people in. So there would be no uh, impact on adjacent neighborhoods. Thank you. Um, the since this is our first event do um, at this venue, since I've been here for a number of years with you, um, and the park's been doing a great job. Thank um, you. How are they going to be responsible for security and the cleanup and everything like that, or are we contracting out with them through the chair? Through you, Madam Chair, they would be responsible for the entire event. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any further questions? Okay, there being none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> Item carries. Okay. Um, are there any other matters to come before this committee? I think I skipped something. <laughs> Is there um, any old business? Okay, so are there any other matters? No. Okay, that great. There no, being no other matters, the March 24th, 2015 meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee is scheduled for April 28th at 6 p.m.